Welcome back to Prey. So we're in an event currently. And they did mention that there are alternate ways. Explosive canister. That there are alternate ways to beat areas. Not beat areas, sorry, to progress. Oh gosh, sorry. For some reason, um sometimes when I press shift it brings up the steam overlay. Hopefully that doesn't always happen. That bad? <laughs> that was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Keep moving. All right. Uh, sorry, that just like caught me off guard. I'm like speechless a little bit. Uh, Dr. Deo Igui, noetic research like all bold new ideas has undergone a predictable pattern in the scientific community. First, skeptics ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second, skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and more importantly, the public. Finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. Except from the Noetic Field Chapter 1. Okay. We're gonna have to fire that thing, maybe. Okay. Oh. Okay, so if I press tab, that comes up. Repair tutorial. Field. Repair. Many objects on Talus 1 can be repaired if you have the repair skill and enough spare parts. To repair an object, hold down the G button until the repair is complete. I don't think we can do can we? No, it says... So you have to level up, which I don't... But understand. So if I press out, this is my objectives. Okay, get to the main lobby. Or search for Bellamy's corpse in the trial. Ah, oh, there's optional missions, okay. Alright, so if we get to the trauma center, we'll look for Bellamy's corpse. That's our inventory data. Research. Oh, wow, they really, they keep track of all this stuff. Wow. Okay, I don't know how to level up, but maybe that's something we will learn how to do. <laughs> okay. Make sure exactly what it was that I saw just then. What is this? Glue canister, excuse me. Glue cannon? Is this a glue gun? Uh, search, take, ah. Oh. Uh, glue cannon, the Transtar glue cannon, jellyfoam lattice organism obstructor, Disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Okay. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Use M1 to fire your glue cannon press and hold M1 to fire a continuous stream. That's different. Did you get glued? Uh, take all his stuff. There's so many. So it'll only immobilize them, it won't kill them. So that's. Oh, how do I. Can I like hot bar this stuff? There's that. Oh, yeah, a sign. There we go. That's better. Okay. Gotcha. Yes, January. There. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list. Lady, I'm a little busy. Take a look. Turn the light on. I can't see shit. No, oh, you dodged it. Okay. God, it's hard to concentrate when someone's talking in my ears. But the glue gun seems to have worked fine. I also know that this had a code on it. It's Q1. 
security booth. Caution, key player, what is... Oh, okay, security. So it's got all the camera fees. Okay, maybe we can find that one. Okay. I'm guessing leverage is something we can level up. Drink. Oh, it gives you... Oh, I don't know what the top one is. Why do I need a banana peel? <laughs> I don't know which junk to take and which junk to leave behind. I gave plant clippings. Are you dead? Like, transcribe Robert Gage. Okay, L to listen. Robert? Alice, thank God. No one else is- Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't- Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Oh. Ah, fuck. Someone's coming. What's up, Matt? <sighs> Alright, I was just gonna know how pretty this thing was, and then it got attacked. Anyways. They seem like they're fine. Uh, skill recording room. Uh, favorites wheel. Ah, oh, yes, the favorites wheel allows you to quickly select and use weapons and eventually PSI powers. Press mouse wheel to open the favorites wheel and select a weapon or item. Press mouse one to equip a weapon. Yep. That's fine. You can also consume med kits. Ah, oh, okay. From the favorites wheel. Okay. Actually, you didn't know that med kits could go in there. Uh, ah. Oh. Is it the one? Ah, oh, yeah, the E one. If I press E, will that just heal me, maybe? Okay. Uh, go to lobby. Oh, no, it said it told us to pick up something here. The Neuromod. Oh. Neuromods and abilities. The Neuromod is a revolutionary, revolutionary, oh my god, I can't talk. Revolutionary Transtar invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromods section. Okay, it's for N. Engineer and security. Ooh. Scientists use knowledge of science, medicine, and specialized labs equipment to your advantage. Scientists, engineer, security. Whoa, that's a lot to level up. Wow. Okay, boost your physical abilities, skills, firearms, and security tactics. Increase your health to a 15. Okay. Hmm. What do I want to be? I imagine we can spread out our abilities a little bit, but it's probably good to concentrate on, like, the one class. If heavy objects with ease, throw objects further. Okay. Fix broken grav shafts, fabricators, and recyclers with spare parts if some is enabled. Blah, blah, blah. Your knowledge of medical practice increases the- okay, med kits. Bypass level 1 security measures on computers and robotic systems. I'm thinking maybe engineer or scientist. I'm gonna- I don't want to try this one. Uh, enter to acquire. Yes, please. Know thyself achievement unlocked? I'm guessing that's like the first one. I guess you're ex expanding the brainium, are you? Everything you know is about to change. You'd be dead if it wasn't. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. What's in the bathroom? Looks like there's something naughty in the bathroom. Something naughty, something bad. Ugh, fuck. Fucking shit. Come here. What do you think you're doing? Uh, oh yeah, let's, let's drink. Maybe that's like our sanity, the top meter. I don't know. Uh, open? This is a fancy toilet. Uh, cold mountain green tea. That sounds nice. There's gotta be a mimic in here. What is this, this humongous toilet? Maybe it's like the disabled toilet. It's not so big. Uh, crumpled paper. I have no idea what I need that for. Flush. Not sure what the point of flushing is. Synthetic material. Oh, okay, so you need leverage too. Maybe we can backtrack. Hmm. So I can bypass this lock now, right? 
I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, security booth. Examine. Okay, of course. The hacking skill allows you to bypass security systems protecting keypads, workstations, and security stations. At higher skills, uh, skill levels, you can hack into robotic systems such as turrets and operators. To hack, use WSD and quickly to navigate the bitstream to reach the target. Once inside the target, press the prompted button to complete the hack. So we're just guiding something through a maze? Okay. Um... Oh yeah. Ooh. That? Uh, X. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. That's not too bad. What's it here? Uh, weapon upgrade kit. Upgrading weapons. Found a weapon upgrade. No, okay, let's, let's look. Weapon kits allow you to upgrade your weapons. To use a weapon kit, use the select- Oh, select the weapon you wish to upgrade in your inventory and press R. Then choose upgrade to select from any available upgrades. Note some upgrades require advanced skills. I only have two weapons. Maybe I should hold off. Okay, so that does sound like we're gonna get guns. Uh, neuromod divisions. Ah, oh, okay, needs a level two, which I don't have. Okay, learning things. Understood though. Okay. So is there a map? Press M. No, no map. All right, and then if I go press O, uh, get to the main lobby. Okay, so that's just this one here. Yeah, it seems like we're free to back travel, I'm pretty sure. It seems like it. Hmm. Now entering lobby. A mysterious contact named January is guiding you to the main lobby of this facility. Yeah, she's a super lady. Whoever she is. Anything? <laughs> I was just loading up the area. What about that phantom thing? I didn't see the phantom. Maybe it's in here. Neuro mod. So, oh dear. You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? Oh, but I'll never will be ready. But sure. So I like that. Don't see anything. Yeah, my inventory is getting pretty full. So it's not all. Oh. It wasn't skyscrapers whatsoever. Talos One Lobby. <laughs> it's like a space station. Very well. <sighs> well, that's a bummer. It's still very cool though. Imperial Tulip. Why would I take that? <laughs> it's weird. Can I eat the apple? Ah, oh, yeah. Careful. You need to get to your office. I've updated your map. There's a video you need to see. I know you have a lot of questions. I mean, we're pretty quiet, I will say. Duck beer? <laughs> Excuse me? An office with a view. New object. Look how pretty that is. This game is very pretty, I will say. Wow. It's very good looking. So I guess eating food replenishes... I'm gonna say energy. Or my health. Let's say it's my health. Banana peel. Suit repair kit. Guess I'll just look around for the moment. It's very immersive. It's a lot more immersive than I thought it would be. Trans star exhibit. Oh, back. In memory of JFK, John F. Kennedy, 1917 to 2031. What? Did you bring him back to life? Shit. So I can do this quickly, right? Uh, let's say... Oh shit. Okay, I think that worked. So I press E. I'm trying to figure out how to hotbar the med kit, but it's okay. Bam. 
Fuck you. I have no energy. Just get a one score. Oh jeez, sorry about the whole wheel thing. I'm just getting used to controls. Your suit is damaged. The better condition your suit is in, the more damage it will absorb from enemy attacks and hazards. Use a suit repair kit to repair your suit. I'm in the middle of something. Ah, oh, crap. I had that. This is some kind of bad dream, is what it said. I had that. <laughs> uh, the previous... Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I... When was I last save? Uh-oh. I thought, does this game autosave? I don't know. Oh good, it auto saves. Thank God. I had that. Okay. Just trying to hot bar my med kit, but it didn't seem to work. That's okay. Oh, this thing does a lot of damage. Maybe I can't do this yet. Uh, e. Okay. Yeah, I'm like trying to assign it, but it doesn't seem to want to... Oh yeah, it's too... That's okay. I'll, I'll just, I'll figure that out later. Damn. Mimic... That's a turret. Ow, what the shit? Oh, it's shooting the mimics. Okay, uh, I'm gonna see if I can eat something. What is this? So let's have a Cure's Fear. There's a lot more involved than I thought. Cure's Fear as well, I guess you can't be afraid if you're drunk. A decaying banana peeled. Okay. Med kits. That's interesting though. Yeah, I'm not sure what the best way is to- oops, to deal with that. Jerk is. Did you kill it? I think it did kill it. So I can- oh, I'm not allowed to hack it. I think maybe it was aiming at me as well, so I'll stay away from it. Uh, drink. Oh, that's okay, you can carry it too. Take. What's the- yeah, it's a bunch of cigars. Do you need cigars in space? <sighs> Alright, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go up the stairs, but I just want to ex explore a little more. I think there was one in here. I knew it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Didn't know there was that many in here. What the shit? Uh... I still want more. Ah, uh, come on. Get fucked. Oh my god, how many are there? What is this? Oh, I know. Come on, shut up. I know. Uh, so Z. Ah, uh, okay, understood. I understand how it works now. Fuck me. It's actually pretty difficult. Stay there, please. It's definitely harder than I thought it would be. Oh, we can slide, can't we? Hmm. It's a long slide. Maybe I'm supposed to be sneaking around more. Why do I need these? Toilets again? Oh, okay. Hello. Oof. Okay, is there any reason I should be? Oh, I saw that. I'm seeing a bunch of repair symbols all there. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything. It's not hard to look. 
<laughs> and the men's room. Oh, thank God. Ah, uh, yes. So that leans. Okay. Uh... Oh. Oh shit! <laughs> I just had the mimic. This space elevator. Stairways to heaven by Dr. Angela M. Allen. Early United States dominance of the first operational space elevator, the White Stork Tower, has allowed them to control almost all orbital activities and commerce. Now the rest of the world is playing catch up. The World Union of Space Industry (WUSI) has calculated that using the Stork facility to aid in construction of a second space elevator would result in construction costs that are one quarter of the original. Understandably, US officials have balked at the idea of uh, helping competitors build a cheaper platform that could give them a competitive advantage. Stork representatives maintain that a sizable investment risks uh, for the original platform justify the protection of this economic space. In the meantime, WUSI has aggressively moved to purchase ideal sites for future space elevators, essentially space age squatting. Does that say baseball glove? Coffee table. I don't think there's still one around. God damn you. Not a plant, are you? Okay, maybe we should just go up the stairs. I'll turn your light off. I'm wasting the battery. Can we have a gun? A gun would be super duper. Uh, what is this? IT department. Ah, oh, yep. Oh, I'm, oh, I started down here. See. Easy enough. I'm guessing if I touch the one with the thunderbolt, I'll probably die. Oh, this looks good. Oh, shit. It's another... Oh, whatever. Okay, I'm not going in here. Ooh, what is this? I'm out. I know. <laughs> Those things are hard. Until I get an actual gun. No, thank you. Maintenance lab. No matching key card. Crap. Sales division general access. No key card. Video file. Okay, maybe. There's another set of stairs over there. All right. We'll go to the other sisters. Should I pick up the flowers? Sure. <laughs> I don't know why. I would need such a thing. <sighs> I know you're a lamp. There's only one here. Dumbass. Okay. Ooh, that's a turret. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna use the turrets. I'll have to get hacking level two though. Right, can't go this way. Oh, it's beeping me whenever I go through there. Fair enough. Okay, that turret is just there. I'm just gonna run. Hope that doesn't hit me. Another banana peel. A huge cigar. What am I? Just a horrible, horrible hoarder. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the exhibit. Uh, oh no. I'm pressing tab. So I'll look at my inventory and see maybe if there's something I could eat. Ah, oh, yeah. Drink that one. Uh, vegan jerky made from jam and tomatoes. Jam one? Jam and tomato? A refreshing can of cold brew green tea. That sounds. Fucking delicious. That'll do. That's better. Uh, so is this material yield here? Maybe it's like a currency. Surely there's a point to me picking up all the trash. Well, that's cool. Ah, medkit. Thank you so much. Original Neuromod prototype. It's pretty big, isn't it? Oh, yes. I didn't even see that. God. 
Can you imagine if I just walked away with that? Picking that up. I was hoping that maybe I could put that on. 20. Twenty thirty, Talos One becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. That's interesting stuff. So if I press tab, it goes to the next the, the previous open I had. Star board of directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Klepka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 1980 to 1994. Geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Popeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. Okay. 1964. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. This period, known as Project Axiom, leads I'm reading to this many backwards. advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. So JFK, this is an alternate world where JFK wasn't assassinated. <laughs> a top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. Okay. I understand. All right, so we should level up. Um, so Neuromod. Oh, it needs four. Damn. I hope we find plenty because I would love to upgrade all of this. But it might just be better to get a bit of everything. Thrown objects will damage enemies, that sounds fun. I want that one. If you run out of ammo, you can throw something at them. Okay. I know I'm getting sidetracked here, but I don't really care. It's all very interesting. Oh yes, I can carry that one now. <laughs> yeah! Interesting. <laughs> Caught going here, huh? Tra- Ah, oh, this is the trauma center. Oh, you don't look too good. Okay. So we can find a way into the trauma center, we can do a side quest. I don't know if I'll do all the side quests. I will just say that. It's just locked. Okay. Turret. Okay. Bianca Goodwin guest and volunteer liaison. That's a beautiful painting. If I ever did see one. Uh, I don't actually need to eat it, so... F. Take it. Methuselah apple? <laughs> Is there such a thing? I know there's like a hundred different kinds of apples. Ah! Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. See? Okay. Volunteer attitude. Miss Goodwood, I'm going to need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't l let him out to stretch his legs. When you get up here, the key code is 8805, not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. Uh, second officer John Haskins. Okay, 8805. I think this dude remembers codes. Sorry, this chick, Morgan, remembers the codes. So I don't think I need to remember it per se. The code to your office is 0451. Thanks. How do you know that? Mr. Igui, I relayed your previous request and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight and may not allow for a face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more details. Sincerely, Bianca, Talis One Volunteer and Guest Liaison. Uh, Miss Goodwin, to follow up on the previous request, I was wondering if there had been any updates on Gustav Linter's visit. Is it still taking place, and if so, would it be possible to get a copy of his itinerary? I'd love a chance to meet him before the neuromapping procedure, if possible. Uh, Le Le I hope I'm saying his name right, Leitner's visit. 
Yeah, Igui showed up quiet and polite. He shook Litner's hand like he was afraid of breaking him. I asked him to sign an album he brought. Litner found f seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such a talent. No wonder we wanted to get scanned. Okay. That's it. Also, thank you for giving me a code. So we got two codes. Hang on a sec. What was the code for? This one. Okay. When you get up here, 8805. Doesn't say exactly where to put it. Officer, okay. We'll see. I'll, I'll do my best. That's all I can really do. Okay, so I have the key card for the trauma center. So I'm going to use it now. Otherwise I'll forget. I should also save my game. I'm going to do that. Let's, let's save. Yeah. Because that's what smart people do. Okay, yes. Okay. Oh shit, question mark. All right, let's not go into the trauma center yet. I'll come back here later. At least we've opened it up. Yeah, I reckon we can just backtrack everywhere. Paris? That doesn't look good. Staff, please move these remaining boxes to my new office in Neuromod Division as soon as feasible. Okay, consciousness, the fire in the equations. There's lots of reading in this. Hang on, there's lots of noise, so I'll turn that one off. Uh, chapter 1, Consciousness, the Fire in the Equations by Dr. Stuart Penrose. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained? Oh, this is something we've read. God, I swear I just saw a figure just then. Um... Okay, this looks different. Excerpt from the Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant photosynthesis, avian navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubes, uh, microtubules of neurons. Uh. Test subject. Uh, Syl Sylvan? Sylvain? I don't know how to say your name. I'm trusting you with my brain. <laughs> you do good work. So hopefully that continues. Uh, winky face. <laughs> Listen, if the tests don't go well, if something happens, let Alex know that I, that I know it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office uh, down to Sim. Less hassle and you can always move back after we celebrate our success M's. This is actually from us, so from Morgan you to Sylvain Bellamy, Dr. Bellamy. All right. Color turret. Have this. Thanks. Debug build version 0.7.6. Verbose on. Ooh, a sunburst banana. Uh, Jason Chang. Oh, let me guess. You wrote your stupid... <laughs> That's... OMG, hot boss. <laughs> Who's your boss? <laughs> Jesus, people. Jason, uh... Oh, sorry, from Morgan. So this is from us again, to Jason Chang. Jason, mate screwed the key keypad to my office. Had them set it to 0451. I'll be in Sim Labs a while, so you need anything of yourself out. Oh, uh, okay, thank you for remembering for me. Oh, shit. Your office. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Nice library you got, my dude. Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe, Jason. Okay, look for a safe. Teleconference key card. All right. Let's read the emails first. You made it. Ah, uh, from January. E-O-M. Question mark from Michaela Eushin. 
I still don't know what happened, uh, but I've put it behind you. There's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together from Mika. Maybe that's like, like a partner. Uh, from Jason Chang. Morgan, as requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forward to your suite in the crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware are sent up. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the floor in your office. Okay. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong fucking button. Sorry. Okay. Let's watch. Ah, the Morgan. Yep, 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 yep. What is this? Oh, fuck. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory's shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. Oh. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Uh, looking glass server connection lost. It's January is us. One of those damn videos. Sorry, but I can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just. Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Brother, what have you done to us? Alright, friends. I reckon we should stop it here for today. And in the next video, we'll just see where this all goes. Everything has been unraveled, it seems. Sorry, oh, incoming call. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. Okay. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. Cheers. Okay, well, there we go. Now we know what to do next. So, ah, thank you for restoring the power. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying Prey. It's been very, very interesting. So, new objective. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. I really appreciate the support. I'm on a few different social media platforms. Link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.